consider just how gracious God really is. I mean, you were his enemy. Every day God was giving you good things and you weren't thankful, you weren't thanking him for those things. Uh, every day you were offending him in various ways because you weren't loving him, because you weren't loving your neighbors yourself. Every day you were rebelling against him, but in spite of this, he was willing to give what was most precious to him, his only begotten son, to obey and to die, and that in, in the most humbling way possible. By becoming a curse on the cross and enduring God's full wrath against sin by dying and being under the power of death for three days. The prince of life experienced death so that you could live. But again, he didn't do all of this and then say, all right, give me all the money you have. Give me everything you possess. Go somewhere and die for me and I'll let you into heaven. That's not what God says. All you have to do is be willing to turn from your sins and trust in his son, and he will give you eternal life. That is infinite mercy. That is infinite love. And you will never receive a better offer than this. If you want to live, that's what you must do. You must turn from your sins, trust in Jesus. He's the only one who has overcome death. He's the only one that God has given for that purpose. You have to trust in him. He's the only one who can overcome it for you. So don't leave here thinking there are other ways. Don't leave here thinking that you're good enough. Uh, don't leave here thinking that your good works are going to outweigh your bad works because none of those things are true. There is only one way to heaven. Jesus says he is the door. You have to go through him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. They said to the Philippian jailer, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. If you do anything other than that, you will not be saved. You will die and you will experience those things God says are true for those who will not turn from their sins and trust in him. So receive God's mercy and grace. He offers it to you freely. It's a free gift. He says, reach out and take it. Trust in him, and he will do it for you. Believe on him, and you will be saved.